Hello guys, it's Jackson and welcome to the first episode of my new script tutorial series. Script is a plugin that you can download on your server that allows you to easily modify how Minecraft works with some simple programming. In this episode, I am going to be teaching you guys the foundation of knowledge that you need to get started with script. There are three different categories of language that you will need to use to make things happen with script. These three categories are events, conditions, and effects. Events are actions that happen in the game such as mining a block or jumping off of cobblestone. Conditions are criteria that must be met for your effect to be ran, such as the player holding a specific item or an item being edible. Effects are the outcomes of an event happening when the conditions are met. This includes launching the player upwards or killing an entity. The first thing you are going to want to do is install script. If you are making an external server, you do this by downloading the script plugin and placing it into your plugins folder. If you are making a server on Minehut, you are going to want to click the plugins tab, search for script, and click install plugin. And if you would like to install additional script features, I recommend installing the script add-ons Skelet, SK Query, and SK Rayfall. Now that you have installed script, you will need to navigate to your server's file manager, go into your plugins folder, then the script folder, and finally into the scripts folder. Once inside the scripts folder, you will need to create a script file. To do this, create a new file. This new file can have any name, but you will want it to have a .sk at the end of it to make it a script file. You will want to open the new file you created, and now is where the actual scripting begins. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using the Minehut text editor, but if you ever want to do a more complicated script, I recommend either using Sublime Text or some other better text editor. The first thing that you're going to need to type is the event that you are going to use for your first script. In this tutorial, I'm going to be using the on step event. The line on step on gold block will activate when the player walks onto a gold block. Make sure that after you type an event, you end the line with a colon. This will tell the script that everything underneath it will happen after that event. You will want to push enter to start typing on a new line. On this new line, you are going to either press tab or spacebar twice. This is where we will type the condition. A script does not need a condition, but in this tutorial I will show you how to use a basic one. The condition we will be using is the player is holding condition. The line player is holding a diamond sword will require the player to be holding a diamond sword for the effect to activate. Now it is time for our effect. Like conditions you are able to use multiple effects. Press enter to start typing on a new line. You will need to press tab or spacebar twice like we did for the last line. The effect we'll be using is the push effect. The line push the player upwards will push the player upwards. This simple script that we just typed will change the way the game works. Now when a player steps on a gold block while holding a diamond sword, they will be pushed upwards. You can change the game in so many ways by using this simple formula for making scripts. Once you save your script in the folder previously mentioned, you can go into your game to test it. You are going to want to type the command slash script with a K, reload, and then the name of the script. My script is named subscribe, so that is what I'm going to put there. When you reload the script, it will tell you if there are any errors. If you get an error, make sure you correct it or your script will not work. If you see the successfully reload a message, then your script is ready to go. Make sure you do a quick test to see if it works, and if it does, congratulations, you made a working script. Now that you have a general understanding of the three basic script language types, you can use the documentation to figure out all the different things you can do. For default script code, you can look at the script lang github documentation. Here you will be able to view all the different events, conditions, and effects that script has to offer. If you are using a script add-on, I suggest using the skunity documentation. Here you are able to find out what the add-ons actually add. Using the documentation, you should be able to do a multitude of different cool things. However, this is not all script has to offer. Over the next few months, I will continue to make script tutorials like this one that will go over more advanced features that script has to offer. I want to thank you all for watching this tutorial, and if you have any script questions, I recommend asking them on my Twitter. If you want me to continue making these tutorials, make sure you like the video and subscribe. I am currently trying to get enough subscribers for the YouTube rank on Minehut, so each subscriber is greatly appreciated. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.